Hello everyone, welcome back. So this video is going to be a bit of a tour of my dressing table. I'll talk to you about how I've organised it and talk you through all of the products that you can see on the dressing table and also in the drawers as well. So it's a bit of a nosy video. It's, it's one of those videos where you can kind of see everything that I kind of own in my beauty collection. So I'll take you over to my dressing table and talk you through all the products that I have. So this dressing table is in the other bedroom in the flat and this is what I sit in front of to film my videos. So it is next to this cabinet here that has all of my hair products in, some hairbrush, hairbands, straightener, curler, hair dryer, and then I've got some bracelets on top as well. And then I've got a bed and then the window there. So let's have a look and see what's on this sort of left hand side. So on this shelf here, I have the vast majority of my skincare and then deodorant and perfume. So the perfume I'm currently using is Chanel number no. five. And then I've got my deodorant at the back. Some of the skincare. So this is an Aven hydrating mist. And then next to it, I've got my essence. This is my ginseng essence from Beauty of Josen. I've got to be careful with the products on here because if I knock one over, the rest just like all knock into each other. Then I've got this toner, this propolis toner. And I've then got this Paula's Choice Exfoliating Solution. This is an anti-redness one and this one is much better than the usual 2% BHA one, the one in the black bottle. This one is so much nicer. I've then got my Skin and Me doser. This is the SPF that I'm currently using. I used it for the first time today. So far, so good. Seems nice. This is a Dermalogica barrier repair. So this is what I use if my skin has a bad reaction to something. Got a retinol eye cream, Beauty of Josen again. Vitamin C, this is Revolution and Sally Hughes. I've got two spray SPFs here. I tend to kind of use these more in the summer, to be honest with you. Or if I am going to go out in the afternoon, I'll just spray my face with a bit more of SPF. This is a La Roche-Posay Niacinamide Effaclar Serum. Don't really like this though, wouldn't we purchase that? L'Oreal Revitalift, this is 1.5% hyaluronic acid. And then also L'Oreal is the retinol, but I've got no idea what percentage retinol this is. This is a Clarins Blue Orchid Facial Oil. I hate the smell of this. This smells horrible. It is really hydrating though. It's a lovely product, but the smell is just gross. I really don't like it. And also, when I put this on and I'm like sat next to my boyfriend on the sofa watching TV, he'll be like, have you got that oil on? So even he can smell it. But it is really good if I've got any breakouts. So I put a bit of acid on and then some of the oil on. And I've got this. This is an ampule. This is really good for barrier repair. I haven't used this yet, though. And to be honest, I'm not using much of this skincare at the moment because I'm recently on Skin and Me. So I'm just giving my skin time to sort of get used to Skin and Me. These are four mini Beauty of Josen serums. I've tried a couple of them. They're both really good. Haven't tried two of the others, which I think are like the Glow Plus and the Revive one. And then these are two Skin and Me moisturisers. I started using one yesterday or the day before, I think. They seem quite hydrating, not a particularly nice smell, and they are quite wet on your face. They do feel really fluid. So in here is all of my nail varnishes. I like OPI and I like nail zinc. So I've got a lot of colours and sort of nail strengthening treatments. These at the back are all of my new na nail envies from OPI. I do have a couple of other nail envies on the go, so that's why I haven't opened those yet. I've also got this cuticle oil, not cuticle oil, cuticle remover as well. I don't tend to use that that often though. I probably should use it a bit more. This is a thinner to go in some nail varnishes. It doesn't really work that well though, so once it's used up, I won't be getting any more. And then I've got here as well some eye drops. So I have quite dry eyes, and I find wearing contact lenses really uncomfortable. They're fine for filming, because as soon as I'm done filming, I'll put them in the bin. But if I'm wearing contact lenses all day, I have to have this on me to just provide my eyes with a bit more kind of fluid. So I, I keep that there. And then below it here is where I keep most of my eyeshadow palettes. I've got one of these like plastic sort of inserts. So at the back here is all of my MAC singles and my Makeup Geek singles. This is my 
Vive Essentials palette. Full of warm brown neutrals, love this palette, really beautiful. In front of it is Vive Muse. Pinks and purples, some warm shades and some cool shades. This is my dupe for ABH Sultry. This is the Revolution Reloaded Hypnotic Palette. Bit of hit and miss quality in this one though, but then it was only fiver. This is Urban Decay Naked Heat. Love this palette. Not overly keen on the shimmery shades though. They need a bit more of a punch behind them. Laura Geller Sunday Funday palette. Lots of sort of warm browns and coppers. The eyeshadows again are a bit hit and miss. This one here wasn't really that pigmented but this one here that I'm working on is a lot more pigmented. The blushes are really pigmented. You've got to be so incredibly light-handed with them. And then I've got another one, TGI Thursday. This is a bit more sultry. Not particularly keen on the blusher shade and the highlighter shade. Wouldn't use the black shade, so it's really just kind of these three eyeshadows that I'm wearing from this palette. And then here I've got some sort of samples. So I've got a couple of Dr. Jart samples. My friend gave me these a couple of years ago. I should probably use these. Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. These are the masks. I've then got an AHA 8% sample from Isn't Tree. And then I've got a Purito SPF sample as well. And then next to it here, I've got this really big one litre Tan Lux Gradual Self Tanning Body Lotion. This is the only body lotion that I currently own, so I can start to work through this now. And this will be quite nice considering that we're going to move into spring soon, so it'll be nice to have a little bit of a tan to my skin. And then next to it, I've got another perfume, Yves Saint Laurent Libre Intense. Gorgeous perfume, I love that so much. So this is the right hand side now, we're still on the bottom, we're still on the actual desk of the dressing table. So I've got two pen holders here full of my makeup brushes. I'm not going to go through every single makeup brush. And then this one here is for my smaller brushes or eyeshadow brushes. And I've got in here as well a nail file and there should be another nail file in here as well, but I don't know where that's gone. And then this is a little beauty spatula, so that's really handy when I cut open a tube or something and I need to scrape out the rest of the product. And then here I've got my beauty sponge with a little holder in for it. That's quite handy because it can dry in that as well. I've then got my eyelash curlers. These are by Sashado. This is the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. And then next to it I've got the... M Sun Magic Finish. This was a gift from my stepmom, but I've not really used it, so this is why I don't really talk about it on my channel. I should probably start using it and see what it is and if I like it. These are from Peaches and Cream. These are the drops to mix in with the loose pigment, but I haven't needed to use these yet. I find that using the loose pigment by itself is, is absolutely fine, so maybe I should start using this with the pigment and see if it's any easier or if it's a better effect. I don't know. This has got some alcohol in it, so if I'm sterilising my makeup collection, I'll use this. And then these are my lip products. So, at the back I've got two lip glosses. They're a bit pushed down in here. This one is a clear Kiko one. And then I've got next to it shade number four, which is a really warm, like peachy apricot shade. Bit of sparkle in there, that one's beautiful. Oh, also at the back I've got eye drops and then a Bondo Sans SPF 50 lip balm and then I've got a little beauty sponge as well for my under eyes. I've got two Vive lipsticks here. First one is Power Suit. I've tried quite a few of the Vive lipsticks. Power Suit is definitely my favourite. Just turn up the brightness there. It's a really warm burnt orange shade. Absolutely beautiful. Love that one. And then this is Coming In Hope, which is like a mid-toned brown. I need a bit more warmth in my lipstick though, so I like to mix this one in with Power Suit. This is an Estee Lauder one in the shade Persuasive. It's an orange-based red. Really like this one. This is my kind of red. This is beautiful for the summer months. If I go on holiday somewhere hot, then I'll wear this. I've got a Vive Lip Dew. This is in the shade Pesca. On me, it doesn't really provide much of a peachy effect. I've got really light blue-pink lips, so this is just a bit of a sheen. So if I wanted more of a peachy effect, I'd probably apply this over the top of like a peachy coral 
lipstick instead but this is what I wanted the original lip dew to be like there is no glitter in this so really love this lip gloss this is a MAC Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Stick. This is in the shade Sweet Cinnamon and it's slightly darker than the Estee Lauder Orange Base Red Lipstick. Beautiful shade as well. I need to start wearing this one a bit more. This is new. This is one of the e.l.f. Hydrating Core Lip Shines. This is in the shade Cheery, so this is an orange one. This will be really nice to pair with my coral lipsticks because now that I've started to wear a lot more warm makeup and makeup in my season, I've realised that I need something more orange. So this is a good orange option. And I've got three of my lip liners here. This one is Velvet Sands by, by Vive. This is a warm light brown. I find the texture of these a little bit sticky though, so I do want to work on panning this one soon, but it's a lovely shade. This one is Natural by NYX and this is like a pink brown hybrid, really lovely, like it says, natural lip shade. And this is MAC Chicory, this is an orange based red lip liner so this is really useful to wear with my orange based red lipsticks. And then I've got some of my House of Colour lipsticks here, so this one is Autumn Nude, this is my go to nude lipstick now because it's not really pink, it's not really orange, it's just a really good warm brown lip shade. This is my coral, this is soft smooth coral. This is the one that I feel the least comfortable in though because I don't wear a lot of coral lips. <laughs> so this is gonna be one that's gonna take a lot more use getting used to. This is my red, it looks quite bright and it is bright but it is a warm based red lipstick. One of my three points of red along with the coral. And then this one is my rust shade. This one I really love because it's a really wearable red. It's quite toned down. It's still warm, but it's more of like a brown red. Beautiful shade. I love this one. And then up here I have more of my base makeup. I've got a pencil sharpener here, and this is for both normal sized pencils and also jumbo, jumbo sized pencils. This is just a lid to my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. And then that's my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. This is in my project pan, but I like to kind of keep it up here so it doesn't leak. I don't know if it will, but I just don't want it to. This is more alcohol to clean my makeup. And then my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So in here, in this sort of bit here, because this is a nice square compartment, I tend to put a lot of my base products. So I've got my Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat Foundation. A nice foundation but a little bit hit and miss. Some days it looks nicer than others so not one that I would repurchase. One that I prefer to it, NARS Sheer Glow. Beautiful foundation, I love this. It's so radiant, medium coverage, just a really lovely foundation to work with. V Skin Dew, this is a liquid highlighter, a very warm yellow gold highlighter. It gives you more of like that kind of healthy glow rather than a glittery highlighter. NYX Plant Bright Back Primer, a hydrating primer. It does an okay job, but not as good as a Bobbi Brown face base. My MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. This is what I want to start using after my NYX eyeshadow base has been used up. And I've got two compartments here that are really good for like pencils. So in here, I have a replacement eyebrow gel. This is the NYX Control Freak. I've used this before and it's a really good alternative to the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. A nude eyeliner from Peaches and Cream, great for the waterline to make me look a bit more awake. I've raved about these so many times on my channel. They are a really good price because they're about a fiver, but great pigmentation and so easy to use. This is a green one from Kiko, great quality eyeliners. They don't pull or tug or feel drying on your eyes and they have a little rubber on the other, other end to like smudge out your eyeliner. This is an eyebrow pencil from Kiko. I bought this in the Black Friday sales because I'd heard so many good things about this eyebrow pencil. I haven't used it too much because I am panning the NYX Microbrow, but so far I really like it. Taupe, it, uh, is it taupe? No, I don't think it is taupe. It's shade four, which I think is one of the blonde shades. But anyway, it's a really good shade for my brows. Really fine pencil, looks really natural. And then I've got a Vive Eye Wand in the shade Camel. Great eye wands, so easy to use. Great if you're in a rush or you just like really minimal makeup. Okay, so in the rest of it, I've got a pencil sharpener here that came with the Kiko eyebrow pencil. This is my mini MAC Stack mascara. I got this as a sample. 
really lovely mascara for like volume and definition but it's black and it's not tubing and I like a brown tubing mascara and I've got another lip product here this is another house of color lip product this is the liquid lip but it doesn't fit in my lipstick holder which is quite annoying so I have to put it in this one it'll fit here really lovely neutral brown pink lip color a little bit drying like liquid lips lipsticks are so I do go in with a bit of gloss or balm over the top I've got my NYX glitter primer here this is great for those eyeshadows like the shimmers in the Urban Decay Naked Heat that need a bit more of a punch behind them this just helps them look at that bit more vibrant and intense this is my Vive liquid blusher the sunset blush balm in the shade Pesca I do have a video up about this which I'll link beautiful product so easy to work with and I love the shade of Pesca as well it's such a warm peach and then I've got my Vive concealer the modern radiance concealer mine is in the shade light three it's a bit like a mousse this concealer great coverage and really easy to blend it's so quick and easy to use and then I've got three more of these little sponges in some of these compartments back here and then at the very back I've got two sorry just dropped them two of my peaches and cream pigments so I've got one in the shade Gatsby and one in the shade Fangulous really easy to use great for adding a bit more sort of sparkle to your eyeshadow look and then on this top shelf I've got mostly hair care products apart from this nail varnish remover this is my rosemary meal hair oil that I tend to use on alternate wash days and I've then got another hair oil next to it which is the Jizu hair oil which I use in the very ends of my hair to protect against sort of split ends. This is new, this is from Colorwell, this is the extra large bombshell volumizer, it's a mousse. I don't really think that this works too well on me, it gives a bit of root lift, a bit of volume but definitely nowhere near the price tag so once I've used this up I won't be repurchasing it along with the style on steroids this is a texture spray and I feel like you need to have like your hair blow dried anyway or your hair curly to really see results on my straight hair it doesn't do anything it just leaves it with this weird tacky texture so not keen on that one either this is the Pureology Colour Fanatic. This is a leave-in hair conditioner. I absolutely love this. I feel like I've been running low on this for ages, so I will need to repurchase this once I have one out. I've got two Living Proof Dry Shampoos. This one is very nearly run out, and then I'll work on that one. I've got a Got To Be Volumising Powder for the roots. This one does work, but it really does leave your hair feeling not very nice at all. It's really sticky and tacky, so I tend to use this either like the day before or the day of hair wash day. I've then got this Redkin Big Blowout. <laughs> Whenever I look at this, in my head I hear the guy from Frozen going, Big Summer Blowout. This is a heat protectant, so you put about a pea-sized amount of this through the lengths and ends of your hair before you blow dry it. And then I've just got a heat protectant if I'm going to curl or straighten my hair, which doesn't happen very often. But handy to have one this is from tresemme and this one does the job it's 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 good enough i don't feel the need to spend more money and then in the corner there i've got l'oreal elnet hairspray classic hairspray love it it's the only hairspray i'll use and this dressing table has two drawers it is one drawer that you pull out but it's got like two sections to it on the right hand side there is just some medication sunglasses and contact lenses so I'm not going to go through that one but the left hand side one is where I keep more of my makeup and also my project pan and shop my stash items as well so I'll talk you through this drawer okay so I've got two more like compartments here some makeup holders so with this first one this is my revolution cream bronzer I love this this is such a good cream bronzer it's really warm but it's not orange it's buttery pigmented so easy to work with I feel like I prefer this to the Fenty one and this one is like a fraction of the cost so love that one behind it I've got my NARS is old eyeshadow duo I love these colors these are so up my street really warm copper bronze golden shades so beautiful and the formulation of these are really lovely as well because they're really pigmented but they're buttery 
easy to blend, just a pleasure to use. I always love my eyeshadow when I use these. I've got two Vive blushes. This one is in the shade Piazzo. This is kind of like a sunburnt shade. This I did think would be too dark on me, but actually it works absolutely fine. So that one. And then I've got Pesca, which is the powder version of the cream blusher I just showed you. Beautiful warm peach. This is like my everyday natural blusher shade. Behind that, I've got my Stila Lilium blusher. This is like a neutral pink it can pull a little bit cool tone but i have found a way to warm this up so i will start working on panning this item soon because it doesn't actually have a long shelf life and i i love it i don't want it to go off this is milani luminoso classic blusher but it is so beautiful it's more vibrant than pesca from vive this is more of a coral blusher got a bit of shimmer in here so you don't actually need to use highlighter at the same time or unless you really want to so a lovely sort of two-in-one blusher. And then behind it, I had to take it out because I couldn't get into it, is my Vive powder. This looks really pale on camera, but it's the shade light and it's a really great shade for me. This is a really beautiful face powder, lovely for adding a bit of colour back into your skin. Also really good for helping to conceal blemishes as well. And in my other one, I've got a few more samples. I've got a few Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion samples there. These are quite old, I should probably start using these. And I've then got two samples of the Vive Skin Jute, but I've got the full size version, so I haven't really used these. This is my Kiko Water Shadow in the shade 208. Bit of a weird formula to work with, I don't really love it. And because of that, I've not really worn it that much, so one that I need to start wearing that bit more because the colour's beautiful, it's a warm yellow gold. This is a Lisa Eldridge single eyeshadow in the shade Madrigal. It's a warm yellowy green with a lot of shimmer in it. It's absolutely beautiful. As soon as I saw a picture of this, I was like, I have to have this. This is right on my street. I love this kind of shade. My Vive bronzing duo in the shade Light or Fair? Light. I have scraped the top of these because I did notice they were getting a bit of hard pan, so they don't look that nice. But beautiful bronzers, you can wear both of them to get more of a bronze look or you can just wear one or the other. Really natural but warm shades. This is my Wet n Wild, my Glamour Squad dupe for ABH Soft Glam. Really impressed with the formula of these eyeshadows, I think they're so beautiful. Pigmented, is really easy to work with and the colours are my kind of shades as well. These really beautiful warm brown shades. And then I've got a couple of samples as well. I've got some Lisa Eldridge foundation samples. I have used a couple of them, but to be honest, I'm not that impressed with the foundation. It feels quite dry. So I'll give some of these a try and sort of see if I can find a really good shade and just try other ways of wearing the foundation, see if I can make it work. And then this is a Kiko single eyeshadow. It's in this sort of like dark emerald green. Beautiful shade. I love these kind of green shades. And then in this bit here, I've got my Shop My Stash and Project Pan items. I did used to have them in two separate makeup bags, but it got a little bit difficult to store them because these, like, drawers aren't that deep. And also I couldn't see the products as well, whereas now if I've got them all out here, I know it looks a little bit messy, but I can see them all so I can, like, grab what items I want. So I'll talk you through the items that are in here, starting with the Vive Skin Nova, which is a primer. It seems to be a really beautiful hydrating primer, but I don't like the pump. Whenever I've gone to use this, I've had to pump so many times to get out product, so not impressed with the packaging. But the product itself is really beautiful and hydrating, and my makeup does it really lovely over the top. I haven't really paid too much attention as to how this looks on my skin on its own, though, so I need to do that and then update you guys. Eyeshadow Stick by Vive. This is in the shade Sand. This is a lovely one-shade-and-done colour. A little bit darker than my natural lid shade, so it's really lovely for those really neutral, barely there makeup looks. Rare Beauty Melting Blush, nearly apricot, lovely toned down version of Joy, also from Rare Beauty. This is much more wearable and I actually prefer this shade to Joy. Really beautiful, warm apricot peach shade. L'Oreal Paris True Match Plumping Tinted Serum, beautiful if I want a bit of coverage but I want my skin to look really healthy and juicy love this I, I think this is going to be a repeat purchase because it's just so beautiful to work with love how my skin looks with this on 
This is a Max single that I'm working on in my project pan this month. This is expensive pink. It's a really beautiful peachy pink, so it's not an obvious girly pink, but a lovely wash of colour all over the lids. I tend to just like to use this shade by itself. Kiko Lip Gloss in 19. This doesn't have any shimmer in it, but it's a neutral, warm pink brown. Lovely for everyday makeup looks. And the lip glosses from Kiko are so hydrating as well. They're not really sticky or tacky. They're just a beautiful formulation. Another House of Colour lipstick. This is Autumn Shimmer. This is the pink lipstick. So this is a really warm, earthy pink. I don't have many pinks in my colour spectrum with being an autumn. But this is one of them and it's just a really beautiful, warm pink. Nothing too overly girly or baby pink, bubblegum pink, none of that. It's much more of a mature pink. Another House of Colour lipstick. This is Soft Amber. This is another nude, but this has more of an orange base behind it. A really wearable shade though, really, really warm. This is a lovely all-round shade. This one and the other shade like this from House of Colour, I think I'm going to get through first because they're just so wearable for me. Another Peaches and Cream pigment. This is in the shade Peached. It's a really warm, light peach shade. So beautiful. I really do love these pigments. A couple of mascaras. The purpley one is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. This is brown and this is just a regular volumising mascara that I wear first to give a bit of length and volume to my lashes. And then I follow up with Snap Mascara, which is a brown tubing mascara. But this one is actually quite volumising anyway, so I don't really need to wear these two together, but I do still tend to, to get that extra bit of volume to my lashes. Another Kiko eyeliner, this is in a brown shade, great everyday shade, lovely to work with. I've got a NYX lip liner in Global Citizen, this is a dupe for V Velvet Sands. Creamier than the Vive one though, so I do prefer the application of this, but this is a little bit too dark to work with my House of Colour lip liners. I do need something just a little bit lighter and that little bit more warm. This shouldn't be in here. This is the V Face Palette in Dawn. This has got two blushes, a bronzer and a highlighter. I use this so much. I love the shades in here. They all work really well together and they work really well on my complexion as well. And V do some amazing quality powders. They're just a pleasure to use. Fenty Powder Bronzer, that's in my project pan. Still not hit pan on it. <laughs> it is a great bronzer though. Slightly too warm, but lovely to work with. Doesn't look patchy, doesn't look overly orange either, so a really nice bronzer, but was hoping to have hit pan on it by now. NYX eyeshadow base, eyeshadow primer that I've still not used up. Not really sure what more I can say about this that I haven't said before. <laughs> I've got a mini Ico Brown Liquid Liner. This is in my project pan because this is actually out of date, but it still works fine and I don't want it to dry up, so I do want to get this used up. This is a really fine liner, so I can be really precise with it. And it's a lovely shade of brown as well. It's not too dark. NYX Lip Liner in Peekaboo Neutral. This I wear with that House of Colour pink lipstick. This is a really lovely shade. It does have some nice warmth behind it. But I do think I prefer Natural from NYX. Another Peaches and Cream Eyeliner. This is in the shade Nile. This is that kind of turquoise blue shade. So beautiful. I love this colour. It's so nice to have a bit of vibrancy to your eye makeup look by just putting some of this in the waterline or smudging a little bit under your lower lash line. Bobbi Brown Corrector Stick in Light Bisque. This is great at helping sort of tone down my dark circles. Does a really good job. Really creamy, easy to blend out. I prefer this to the pot. This is the Rare Beauty Blusher. This is in the shade Joy. This is possibly a little bit too bright for me. I've got to be really light-handed with it because it can be quite overwhelming. I do prefer the other Rare Beauty blusher because it is more toned down. And although this is a mini, it is going to take a really long time to use up. Not sure if I will end up decluttering this because it is that bit too bright. But for now, I'm happy enough to, to use it. And this will actually come into its own in spring and summer as well. So I'll probably end up getting more use out of it then. I've got a mini NARS concealer. This is in my Project Pan. Really lovely concealer, great pigmentation, easy to work with. We'll probably end up buying a full size of this in the future. NYX Micro Brow in the shade Taupe. Really great fine eyebrow pencil. Really great at drawing in those kind of hairs. Looks really natural and the shade is a really good shade for me as well. I do find Taupe is a good shade match for eyebrow products. 
This has the rest of my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless filter in. There's not much in it left at all. If I'm going to use it all over the face, I've probably got about three uses worth left of it. So this will be an empty my project pan next month. I don't rate this. I don't really love it. I think you've got to have pretty good skin to start with to, to get the best effect all over the face. So I do prefer to use this just as a highlighter, as I suppose it is intended. But there's definitely better out there. And then lastly, I've got two eyeshadow palettes. So this is my focus palette this month, which is the Modern Renaissance palette by ABH. Full of nice neutrals, but then pinks as well. I've hit pan on Tempera and Primavera, and I'm starting to work on Vermeer. Really great quality, these ABH eyeshadows. I find them really easy to work with. They're great to blend out, quite buttery, really easy to use, especially Modern Renaissance. And then I've got Norvina, which is just that bit too cool toned for me. There's more cool toned shades in this palette in comparison to warm shades. So I think once I've used up all the warm shades, I will probably get rid of this palette because I don't really want to wear cool shades anymore. The shimmers are so soft. You've got to be so careful with them. Just lightly tap your finger into it. Don't go like digging a brush into it because it will just fall apart. But an interesting mix of colours in here. Some purples, some pinks, but then some neutrals as well. So that was my dressing table tour. So that is what is on my dressing table, in my dressing table, and I've spoken you through all the products as well. So I hope you found that really interesting. Hope you liked having that kind of deep dive into all my products and what my dressing table looks like. <laughs> if you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you again very soon for my next one. Thank you guys, bye.